Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, checking out La Mulana 2. Last night I had my first thoughts on the original La Mulana. Uh, and as you can see, this game we have here is a collection of the two of them, so... I'm gonna dive into the sequel and see how it goes. Uh, I'm expecting it to also be very hard, because, yeah, the original La Mulana is a hard game. Uh, but we're gonna dive in and see how La Mulana 2 goes. Uh, I believe in this one we play as uh, a different character. You can see that she's there on the on the opposite side. So that's exciting. Uh, I don't know if she actually plays any differently, but I suppose we'll see. Game publisher. Cute little evolution thingy at the bottom there. Is it like the story? I can't remember what it's called. Creating Lamulana 2 system data. Yes? I don't know why I would ever pick no. Bit of a strange question. Uh, I've got a little loading bar under my face. I don't know if I need to move my face for this game. I didn't for the first one. Definitely taking a bit more effort to start than Dessa. Several years earlier. I'm Lana 2. I think that several years earlier thingy was like a reference to the first game's story, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it was a bit vague. I'm Lana 2. <laughs> uh, we've got a familiar looking sort of menu. Go to settings here. Have a little looky loo. Uh, we can remap our controls just like in the other game. Uh, we can mess with the volume and vibration. There isn't an option to mess with the uh, sprite scaling. I don't know if that'll come up in game or if this one's just not been designed that way. First game had a sprite to scaling switch. You could make it either integer scaling or like, like fill the screen type scaling. Uh, the latter of which was better when I was playing handheld. Uh, oh! We're right into it. All right. So this is our character. Um, let's see, I can press plus. Whip, a must-have for adventure. It deals damage along its swing arc as well as when extended out in front. Ooh. This game definitely seems to have a bit more of a modern bit to it. It's interesting because the last one was deliberately designed to feel very, very retro. I believe it was designed to feel like you were playing it on an MSX computer. Uh, pause button, looks more or less the same. I think my whip is a little bit slower in this game, maybe. If it is, it's very diff It's very like small. This game. Village of departure. I'll go to that place. Okay, so. This seems to be fairly similar to the original game. The layout is a bit different. But... Is it more like an expanded like, remake or something rather than a sequel? I don't know, I'm playing as a different character, so... I don't have the ability to read signs yet. I guess I need to get the scanner thing like in the first game. Uh, you still drop off ledges in a straight line like you do in the other one. The only door I can go into is this one. Uh, that's different. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> it's a little, um, feels maybe a little chauvinistic. Hey, you made it. I'm Selpud, elder of the tourist village of the Lamulana Ruins. You finally managed to turn the Lamulana Ruins into a tourist spot. 
and now we're getting reports of unknown monster sightings sent a letter to your dad, the archaeologist, asking him to come investigate. So, back home sent his daughter. You can't get hold of your dad? So you break into archaeology and immediately surpass your dad, eh? What a weird family. Anyway, the request was for finding out just what is going on in the lonely line of ruins, and taking care of whatever the problem was. You can handle it yourself, that's why I'm with me. You must have completed your dad's ninja training by now, right? Now the monsters have been coming from the depths of the ruins. With all this danger, nobody's gonna want to come here anymore, and we're gonna lose all our businesses. We go at the cause and make sure those monsters never come out again. Because of my being such a gentleman at all, I'm gonna do your favor and help a cute little girl out. I don't like you much, Selphud. You were more likable in the original game, but it's very likely you were like this anyway, and you just didn't act like this because a man was talking to you, so... Hmm... It's my very own homegrown messaging software. Send you helpful hints and stuff that about the investigation. You hear the funky little beep notification, hit the pause button, and check out the tablet. And thank you later. Del Potter acquired. You wanna hear it again? No? Oh really? Here I go. I think this game was designed less to yeah, less to look like an MSX game and more just to uh, feel like a modern design game. Uh R button? Yeah, I don't, I don't really like the way Zelda's being written in this game. It's not, it's not pleasant. <laughs> oh, we got here. Ah, oh, the hand scanner, I need that. Pepper do. Can't cook without pepper. I need the hand scanner. Now I can scan things. Uh, buckler, pistol, ammunition. And stuff. Known as the Holy Grail tablet, bins with generation. Salmon, whatever that means, the rank of memories of this place. You can save yourself stuff in front of it. Uh, I believe, I figured out the way the Holy Grail works in the first game is you actually have to scan these tablets, and that adds them to your warps. Uh, I was just like saving at them, which doesn't count. So, the weight, the Yagu map reader, text tracks. I have to record text. Whoa! I do want a map reader. <laughs> Definitely a similar layout to the pre previous title. Yeah, I I bought the map. Elfhead <laughs> City has the map that we hide. A little map acquired. Elfhead press mine. I need to activate the map pad? Yeah, I do. Go on. There we go, now I have a map. So the Elder lived in a little tent in the first game, he now has a castle. I guess because they're a successful tourist destination, he can afford to do that now? I guess is the idea? This layout is quite similar. It, like, it kind of reminds me of Super Metroid. Where at the start you're playing through the same areas as in the original game, but then it goes to new places, so I assume a similar thing is going to happen. Like, right at the beginning of Super Metroid, you visit um, the room where Mother Brain was in the first game. And of course she's not there because you beat her in the first game. Oh, hey, that's interesting. Look, I thought of give me along this platform. I can jump to go through it. Interesting. That's new. Uh, that was that was a push block before. Now it's not. I'm gonna ruin. New message. Okay, so the mausoleum with the giants is in the same place.
definitely been a bit redesigned. What a streamlined. Oh cool, you can drop off ladders in this game. You couldn't in the original. But you can jump up and yeah, you, you can do a few more things than you could before. I don't know what my character's name is yet. I know that she's the Lameza's daughter, but I don't know her name. Oh, cute. New little pose. I like that. Because, yeah, he's making it a tourist destination. And... Okay. I'm guessing I want to put away here. Yep. Hellhorn. Shellhorn? I mean, it is one of the artifacts on display in the ruins, so whatever. I'm such a gentleman to you anyway. Yeah, it, it gives you the mystery solved noise, which is why I didn't hear it when I opened that chest. I didn't have the shellhorn yet. But now I will hear that sound when I open more chests. Can't go that way. I assume I'm, I'm gonna get funneled towards the mausoleum of the giants because that's the part the game was telling me to go to. Mausoleum is this way. Huh. Huh, you can't do that in the base game. They've definitely added a few more uh, moves that your character can do. Like, for example, in the original, you can't jump around like that. It just won't let you. And this one you can, it's not even hard. Yeah, you, you're revisiting the same kind of areas, but... If... Oh, there's a slippery bit there, I see. You know the way. Oh, these things are signs I can read, okay. Chest above contains the Holy Grail? Yeah, I do want that. Uh, so I can walk. Stop sign. Looks like getting it from below. Okay, thanks. that holy grail. Okay, so now if I pause, I can press L, and yeah, the holy grail will let me walk to any uh, holy grail statues that I've inspected, which is just the one at the village so far. Oh, I'm capable of jumping incredible distances. <laughs> I'm just curious what my character's name is, because it doesn't show up in the menu here. Uh, in, in the um, original game, like, it told you the whip was the only weapon Professor Lameza brought with him, and that's how you know what his name is. But this game doesn't do that. Oh, I, do I don't know what his name is. Sorry, what her name is. I don't know what our character's name is. <laughs> what does this say? All over the rubble and climb on similar, but I guess she's more athletic because unlike her dad, she's already had ninja training. Is that a doorway? No. Ancient forerunners who could jump their way up. I mean, I can do it. I'm not sure if the game knows that I can do that. But yeah, in the original game, you cannot do that. I've said that a couple times now. You reach the mausoleum. There's not a lot of places you can go. What this say? Okay. <laughs> you can also grab onto ladders as you're climbing, which does not work in the base game. Right. 
Oh, there's actually a clue over there I think I didn't read. Fewer options right at the start of the game than there were in the original. Interesting. Maybe over here there's something. Else. This way, box up almost immediately. Maybe I'm meant to go back to the shop now. Give it a shot. What a shot! You got four now. Don't let her open. Oh, hang on. Mm -hmm. Maybe? Uh oh. Hmm. Maybe I meant to walk back to the village and ask for help or buy something? I can walk back to the village. Like so. I don't love the extra loading times. The original game didn't have, like, a problem with that, but this one kind of does. I also go back this way, I don't know if I'd ever need Doesn't seem like this little area is worth visiting again. There's nothing in that in there. There. I think there's something on the surface I missed it, but the grass a bit farther. Also? Oh yeah, there was um a, b a blue demon guy blocking this path before, but he's not there now. Because he was killed in the first game, I assume. Something I can do in this. 
Elevator's out of order. Oh, hang on, there's a ladder here. That's a ladder. <laughs> oh, I feel dumb. Okay, this way. Yeah, this is the most loser the giants down here. Okay, okay. So we're visiting the same ruins. Uh, but time has passed, so they're a bit different now. save points that were the warp point. I don't seem to need the um, glyph reader application that you had in the original game. You're gonna be able to read everything just fine. Fighting this guy without taking any hit. Oh, they're gone? Okay. Hello. Amaranta. Crouch and look up in this game. You could not do that in the original. It's a bit strange considering the nature of these games. Hey, Phobos. 
Oh, you've got a computer there. <laughs> so sorry, I had to destroy your inspiration. <laughs> A bit of a silly. I suppose La Milana was never the most serious game in terms of writing. Eglana Ruins. Oh, for presents. La Mulana 2 is the actual title sequence. <laughs> okay. The Zero's body, the ninth spirit. Okay. Roots of Yggdrasil. I guess that's how that's pronounced. Could be wrong. Oh, there's a button there. Sorry, boss. Let's hack the tablet so we communicate. I've seen the ruins of Blimey Lot of Information. I've got a room to go. Thanks for hacking my tablet so that I can talk to someone else. It's like, it's like an encyclopedia sort of thing. Okay. As you take out enemies. Yeah, see? That is a nice feature. I don't know if that's something you can unlock later in the original game, but you sort of get it in this one, which is nice. Of course, Sacred Orb doubles your health if you can have 32 health. It's quite nice. Things they're dropping might be the pages of the of the encyclopedia or something, or like the microchips to give you the encyclopedia information, something like that. Get a map now, please. Okay, so now I should be able to walk here as well. Yep. Ow. I would have made it so standing on a Holy Grail tablet heals you. That doesn't happen in the original game either, but like, if you're on a Holy Grail tablet, you can trivially walk back to the uh, above ground and heal that way. So it's a bit annoying that it doesn't just work that way by default. Kind of busy work, you know? Ow.
Okay, I'll help you. Oh! Was not expecting that. <laughs> Tell me how this game works before we shoot an expected map, though. I talk to you again, I'm not sure if it's saved. I don't think it's saved. I get over there without getting squished. Go down here. That's a hint to make it. Spark to go the I don't think I can reach it yet. I need to wait until later. I'm guessing that's kind of like the Arc Jewels from the first game. Oh! Oh look, it opens up the other side of this room. Okay, cool. Really helpful. They all connected up. Oh, a shop. Uh, guild? Does it do the same things in the first game? Yeah, yeah, guild, guild makes it play a noise when there's a hidden shop on the screen. Uh, which is quite helpful. Because a lot of useful stuff is in hidden shops in these games. Um, you have a decent amount of memory to work with. I don't know if you can expand your memory or anything. But... I won't fill any kind of screen, so... Mm. Having a little trouble with the combat controls. They are a little bit uh, precise. Okay. So can I not visit the areas of the first game? Apart from the gate of the gate of guidance or whatever that I've already been to. Are they not actually in this game? Mm -hmm. Oh okay. Oh I see. So that'll open once I've found oh, hey look, it's like um Castlevania 2. That case is. Can attack while on them though, which I think you couldn't do in Castlevania. Okay. 
freaking a big rock bolt on me if I destroy the column. Now, I was hoping to avoid getting crushed, but it didn't quite happen. Oh god, I'm gonna backtrack a long way, aren't I? Yeah. That one. I think I've been this way, but I got another one entirely. Yeah, I think you need a special upgrade to activate those like lightning bolt vigils, like that one there. Which I don't have yet. Oh, is this the poisoned water? That's what you're looking for? Maybe. Oh, you can duck under attacks. Wait, that's a nice feature. Oh, hey, like a puzzle grid in the middle of this thing. I think I need to know those four symbols to solve something. The village because a couple of things I think I can buy now. Hmm. Traveling between areas is definitely slower than it is in the base game. This is like a different game, so it makes sense, but it's still annoying. Uh, it might pepper, but I don't really know what I need that for. I might wait a bit. Right here. But I like the buckle. Huh? What I really want is more apps for my computer because that tends to help you out a lot in these games. Have computer apps? I can't remember what. Oh yeah, you have text. Text traps. Uh... And yeah, the hot spring works more or less like the original game. It heals you faster. Ugh. Can I block Elder Zelpod and just talk to Phobos instead? Please? Probably break that column and then use the Holy Grail to warp out before the rock falls on me. I'm not sure if it'll let you use the Grail in the middle of like a trap falling. Ow. Oh, that one's closed again? Oh, right, yeah, it's because like I died. Oh, I lost my save. Thank you. 
thought it might be like the um, Holy Grail chest in the first area. And you just have to attack it from below, but that does not work. Ooh, shuriken. Wait. They have a ranged weapon. We do have a limited supply, but it's not like super limited, so it's not really a big deal. They, they, they drop pretty regularly. So you're unlikely to run out. I know why it doesn't work this way, but uh, in like conventional Metroidvanias, it marks off the rooms you've visited, and in this game, it does not. Uh, that's also true of the original Lamulana. I understand why they don't mark off the rooms you've visited, but it, it would be nice if they did. Oh. I think I can do that. Oh, I need to find the Lamp of Time relic. Okay. So, I've got to find the, the lamp first, then I can carry the candlestick. Yeah, I want a guild. Because guild, yeah, it, it tells you when there's a hidden shop in your way. definitely giving me a lot of Super Metroid vibes compared to the original game. Where well, you're visiting, like, the same place, but it's a little bit different. And then you go off into areas you never got to visit in the first game. I think Metroid was pretty good. Up in the at uh, the gate, the, the gateway or anything. Ow! 
meant to keep climbing all the way, but like, if I wasn't quick enough, just pop it up and mess me up. jump without actually touching the spike. It tricked me. If I go out first, wait a Yeah, there we go. We did. Oh, I took me a path this way. Oh yeah, the text is there. Neat. Yes, one of those little balancing things. Oh, okay, to attack. Ah, uh, you pull through. Interesting. I don't see a reason to go over there, which probably means I need to go over there. A button or something? It doesn't seem to be. Water is probably going to kill me with poison. Uh, I'm just going to holy gravel back and heal myself real quick. I pressed the wrong button, but it was just slow. Hot bar. Hot bar is closer than it was in the first game. You had to travel several screens to get to it originally. It's also slower. This one heals you much faster. I think they were going for quality of life changes when they made the sequel. Uh, I think I want to check the shop at the gate of a, the gate of um. Whatever it's called, the first part of Blamulana, this part here. Because I said that shop wasn't ready yet, but now some of the games progressed, it might be open. Get a guidance, that's it. So there was a save point just here, uh, in the original game. I assume the save points are all going to be in the new part of the ruins. I'm not really supposed to be spending too much time here in the old part. Here we go, hello shop. Open now? Yep. Odysseys. The Ark Jewel. Oh, I do want the codices, but I don't know what the, the Ark Jewel is going to do in this game. Uh, because the Ark Jewel is how you access the bosses in the first game. Uh, but I don't know if you need to do that in this one. Or if you use something else instead of the actual, it's probably possible. Yeah. 
there some fall else I can do here? There might be something. Yep. Maybe? Is it jump on the arm? I don't think so. Like, it looks like there's something hiding underneath that. I don't know if I can reach it. See? Get from below with like a whip. Oh, I don't look like it. I don't think I have the ability to reach that yet. I can't get high enough to get into that. Hmm. Imagine you're noticing, yeah, this game is very similar to the original one. <laughs> it, it's, it's like there are there are some improvements gameplay-wise, like the fact that you can do a bit more athletic jumping than you could in the original, a couple of different tricks, uh, and the game seems to be expecting you to use those abilities as well. Oh, damn it! What else? Uh. The visuals are... like, the main gameplay looks pretty similar to the original, but a lot of the, like, fluff around it, like menus and stuff, it looks a lot fancier. <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel about that, it feels a bit strange. Hurricane... you're not there? No. Alright, we're all blocking that way. But yeah, you're gonna get the same basic Lumulana experience of fairly tricky platforming, but a really intense focus on it baffling puzzles you have to figure out. This kind of look like Pikachu's. I assume that's on purpose. Ugh. I don't have a good sense of how the slopes work in this game yet. There are fewer slopes in the original. Uh, there are like a couple of platforms that have like conveyor belts on them that force you to go a certain way, uh, which which are sloped. So that those slopes exist, but there aren't that many other slopes in this game. There's things like a rotating platform there, which continually changes what kind of slope it is, which is a bit trickier to uh, get your head around, I think. Ah! I still don't know what my character's name is, by the way. Like, like I know that he's uh, Professor Lomez's daughter, but I, I don't know what her name is. Maybe the game hasn't told me. Uh, possible it's somewhere in the... in the glossary? Main characters? Well, the main characters section, I assume this one would be me, but I, I don't have the... Uh, the database entry for myself yet, so I don't know what my name is. <laughs> uh, oh, that leads to here, that's right. 
Oh, is that one of those gates that oh, two people dwell through? I can't actually go up there, okay. Oh, okay. What that does. Oh, uh, hello. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that, uh, that's quite a boss. It's gonna take me at least a few tries. Uh, I have a good idea of how to get there now. I think the platform's a little fiddly, but, uh, the act actually beating the boss is gonna be a thing. I wonder if the shuriken can help me get this thing. Okay, put a weight here. Okay, move that down. Ah! I knew that would happen. I, I'd already done that. I, I, knew, I knew that would happen. Ugh. But yeah, basically, this seems to be more or less a whole new game with, you know, a unique protagonist and slightly better control. I don't know what that tiny looking thing is. in the glossary. There you go. There he is. Okay, well yeah, okay, I'm gonna wrap it up here. What about an hour? And you can see, yeah, it's a very similar game to Lamulana 1, so if you enjoy, like, intensely difficult uh, Metroidvania consisting mostly of really cryptic puzzles, uh, and in particular if you enjoyed La Mulana, this is more of the same. <laughs> uh, you get to play as this girl whose name I don't know, which is nice. Uh, I don't love that the elder guy has decided to be a misogynist to you, but I think once you get past the tutorial stuff, you won't need to talk to him too much, so it should be okay. Because, like, I've only been away from him for a little while, I'm already getting messages from someone else instead. So I'm guessing I don't need to hear from him in particular too much. I can see there's something up there, but I can't reach it. Yeah, I think I need, like, a new collectible or something to let me get up there. Like a power-up. Like the original game, it does have a bit of, of a weird dependence on you collecting a lot of money. Uh, for example, in the original, you had to go and buy like a helmet and uh, heatproof and waterproof cases for your laptop and stuff like that. But you had to like buy a bunch of random items in order to be fully equipped to progress the game. Basically, it, it was a bit weird, uh, and that meant you know grinding for money fairly often for vital progression. 
Uh, but yeah, it was kind of strange. Uh, and they seem to have replicated that in this game, which makes sense, because, you know, it was a part of the original game's design and thematics and stuff, but it, it is a bit of a weird thing that you have to just run around trying to get enough cash to do something. Like, it's not even... this isn't even like a, a, a soul sort of thing, where dying costs you your money if you're not careful. So it's, it's just a grinding thing. If it were a soul kind of thing, that would be more annoying, so I'm glad it doesn't work like that, but... <laughs> oh, I see. I can save that as one of my texts. I want to remember what it says. Okay. Cool. So that's the text track thingy that I brought earlier. Ah, oh, you're alive. Oh, I see. It's made a shortcut here. That's quite nice. Need hog acquired. Oh, that's the boss. I have boss information. Oh, like you can hunt for the information about the bosses before you fight them. That's neat. I like that. More button. Oh, cool. Like those other blue stuff. Down we go. Oh, it's on top of this rock. I remember this rock. I don't think there's any reason to actually to actually break that column. It doesn't seem like it helps. Unless I'm meant to be whipping that thing, in which case the breaking the column would help me do that. Like, I mean this thing here, this like skeleton or whatever. Golden rock stores the power of the stars. That probably means I want to break the golden rock. But I don't want to die in the process. Um, and this will open up once I beat Nidhogg. Let me go to the second area. Oh yeah, by the way, um, you can see I've only got, like, one ear in. The whip sound is now quite loud. If I pop it over, if I take my headphones off entirely, <laughs> pop it over. And now I basically can't hear the whip. It's actually using stereo sound based on where on the screen you are. Which is nice. It gives you a sense of, like, it gives you a good sense of, you know, where your character is and where the enemies are and stuff. Just a bit of extra information. And so you can mostly see them anyway, so it doesn't help that much, but yeah, I think it's not. I think it's not. If you're also listening with headphones, you've probably noticed this already. It's just because I've only got the one headphone in. I didn't quite pick it up as quickly. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it there, so thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this has been the first hour or so of Lamulana 2, which, yeah, it's mostly the same game as Lamulana, but also it's a new game, so it, it's it's very similar to something like... It, 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 it's, it's a very similar game, but it's also, an, also its own experience. <laughs> Words. Uh, fuck you already? Yeah, did. Do you also do anything? Maybe now I have extra stuff? Damn it, I don't know. I can't jump over it either. Oh, you can crawl. I no, couldn't even crouch in the first game, so being able to crawl is quite an improvement. <laughs> Alright, well yeah, let me learn it too. Uh, if you like Lamulana, you, or you like Metroidvanias or Cryptic Puzzles, or Metroidvanias or Cryptic Puzzles that are called Lamulana, then uh, this is the game that you should be playing as well as Lamulana, because <laughs> it's essentially more of the same. Uh, and I'm liking it a lot. 
with the one exception that Zolpod is kind of a dick to our player character, and I don't like that. I, I would like him to shush. I think he has shushed, because he hasn't shown, hasn't sent messages in a while, we've more been getting them from... Oh, he did send that one, but like, we're getting a lot from Phobos instead. And I think that's going to keep going in that way. Express. Be an item there, I can't reach you. you. Might need an extra upgrade or something. Yeah. No, I didn't need a hand. Yeah, I'll have to wait until I can like jump a bit further or something. Oh well. I'm curious how I get my own dictionary entry so I can find out what my name is. Pretending Zoltar doesn't add him, so I must need to find his entry somewhere too, but I don't care as much about him, but good deal. <laughs> Yeah, I definitely can't go any further that way, at least not yet. Might be able to do something with another item. Mm -hmm. Hey now. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Alright, well, yeah. That's Lumulana 2. It's a really, really similar game to Lumulana. And, you know, why they were bundled together. And why they even show up as the same game on the home menu. Uh, but it's more, it's more. And you get to play as a pretty girl with long blonde hair. You get to jump around and be pretty. So I like that. <laughs> it, 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 it's comfy. Oh yeah, also you can jump up to like, semi-solid platforms, I guess they'd be called. Cool. Like this, for example. In the original game, you can't do that. Uh, you can't jump through them, you have to go around. Oh, the pistol cost is 200? I think it was 100 in the first game, but I could be wrong. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I don't know. No, it looks kind of like a platform, but I guess not. That's about all i got to say about this game for now. You can see i played a little bit over an hour, according to my playtime there. Uh, I am going to enjoy both of these games a lot, and have a lot of puzzling time, and probably eventually end up looking at a guide because I want to 100% of these games, I know you can miss stuff forever, but for the time being I'm going to work on solving the puzzles properly, and I am enjoying it. <laughs> oh, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, bye!